funerals of loved ones especially, uh, are supposed to be a time of closure, a solemn time of mourning and reflection. Uh, but for my friend and former colleague Shireen Abu Akleh, the iconic Palestinian-American journalist who was tragically killed this week, the funeral on Friday was anything but. Crowds of mourners gathered at the St. Louis French Hospital and occupied East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. They were going to have a procession carrying her body from the hospital into Jerusalem's old city for those funeral services. And as you can see here, Israeli security forces began using stun grenades and beating the mourners and pallbearers with batons. Now, Israeli police say the mourners incited the violence. And at one point, her coffin almost fell to the ground. Police were trying to disperse the crowds because they wanted her coffin to travel in a hearse instead. And so eventually, her coffin was, in fact, put into a hearse, and it was carried into the old city as planned. But that wasn't the end of it. Here's a clip from an Al Jazeera correspondent who was part of the procession inside the old city. A Palestinian flag has been hoisted up. The car slowly makes its way through that packed crowd. The Israeli police are now moving in to remove that flag. The flag is still being waved. We're being pushed back. The Israeli police are pushing us back now. I don't know if you can still hear me. I think you can. The Israeli police want to remove that Palestinian flag. So here's a closer look of that moment, but from a different angle. In fact, the Israeli police released this video to our correspondent, uh, Raf Sanchez. And Raf, NBC's global correspondent, joins me now from Jerusalem to discuss this uh, and more. Raf, it's good to have you with us. So uh, let's talk about these videos for a moment. Do the videos paint an accurate picture uh, of what transpired today and what it was like to be in Jerusalem. It looked incredibly chaotic. What did you see? What did you hear? What can you tell us? I mean, it was incredibly chaotic. I have covered a lot of funerals here in Jerusalem. I have never seen anything like what happened today. Just to set the scene here, as you said, this happens at a hospital in East Jerusalem where Shireen Abu Akleh's body was being held before it was taken to the church in the old city behind me and then on to burial. The Palestinian mourners there wanted to carry the coffin on their shoulders. They wanted to do a traditional funeral procession through Jerusalem, the city Shireen Abu Akleh was born in. Israeli authorities were refusing to allow that to happen. There was a standoff there in front of the hospital that standoff escalated to the point that Israeli police using nightsticks to beat Palestinian mourners, including those who were carrying the coffin. As you said, there is just one heart-stopping moment in that footage where it looks like the coffin is going to fall to the ground and spill open. Now, the Israeli police saying in a statement that they were responding to nationalist chanting by the Palestinian crowd and also to rock throwing. Now, you can see in that video that the Israeli police themselves released, you can see one man on the edge of the crowd throwing what appears to be a bottle. But that does not explain why they moved in and why they started beating the actual pallbearers who were carrying the coffin. Now, you also saw in that Al Jazeera footage, Israeli police absolutely determined to remove Palestinian flags. That is something we see time and time again here in occupied East Jerusalem. They do not want to allow any Palestinian national symbols to be on display in Jerusalem, which Israel claims as its unified and undivided capital. I spoke earlier to Diana Butu. She is a Palestinian human rights lawyer, and I asked her about the events of the day. Take a listen to what she had to say. The fact that they wouldn't let a procession go from the hospital through the streets of Jerusalem, the city that she loved the most in Palestine, they try to control our lives and they try to control our death and our mourning. That's what it means to live under Israeli military rule. Now, Eamon, thousands and thousands of people turned out at the actual burial. Mercifully, the burial, the funeral largely went peacefully. And it was a reminder that this was much, much more than a funeral. This was a national moment for the Palestinian people. Shireen Abu Akleh was a household name here for her decades of reporting on the Palestinian story. But in her death, she has really become a Palestinian national icon. Eamon? Hey, Raf, really quickly, uh, Shireen's been laid to rest. What happens next? Israel is now investigating the possibility that an Israeli military soldier fired the shot that killed Shireen. Do we know anything about that investigation? 
Yeah, so for the first time today, Israel acknowledging the possibility one of its soldiers may have fired the shot. That's according to a preliminary investigation that they released. The Israelis are saying they need cooperation from the Palestinians to make a final conclusion. The Palestinian Authority is saying they will not work with Israel on this. And the reason for that is Palestinians simply just don't trust the Israeli military to investigate its own troops. Uh, Eamon, I'll give you just one example of where that distrust comes from. Four years ago, 2018, I was in Gaza. An Israeli sniper killed a young Palestinian journalist called Yasser Murtaja. He, like Shireen Abu Akleh, was wearing a vest that clearly showed he was a member of the press. That was four years ago. The Israeli military said they were investigating then. I asked them today, can you give me the report, the findings that you made? They sent me a very short statement saying that they had looked into the incident. They had determined that there was no criminal activity by any Israeli soldiers and they had closed the case. And that just gives you a sense of why Palestinians feel that they are unlikely to get the full story out of the Israeli military.